So you guys may be noticing that I have a brand new headset on my head. I just thought after a while I should probably get rid of the Astros. Well, not really get rid of them, just kind of switch to a different headset. I tried for what seems like months to find a brand new headset just because my Astros were kind of wearing apart. I've tried everything. I've tried using the HyperX clouds and just something about them seemed off to me. The clouds weren't doing anything for me, so I thought, okay, I might as well just stick with the Astros for right now until I find something new. I thought about actually going to Turtle Beach for a minute, but then I remembered these bad boys. Um, before I even do anything else, start off Black Ops 3 with a fresh dab. What the fuck is wrong with me? It was these bad boys. The Steel Series Siberia X3. <laughs> okay, I don't hate the headset at all. Don't get that little throw mixed up with me hating this thing. I absolutely love this thing. It's just the name. It's not the X300. It's the Steel Series Siberia V3. I don't know why they decided to change the name to the X300 instead of keeping it as the V3 and just adding a chat adapter to it, but more power to him, I guess. But anyway, I heard about Steel Series back in Halo 3, I do believe. That that's when they had the Siberia V2 out. And from that point on, any headset just seemed inferior to me. Just inferior sounding to me, just because of the Siberia V2. You could tell me that Astro is good because of the surround sound. You could tell me Turtle Beach is good for... I, I don't... What is Turtle Beach good for? You could tell me Razor is good because they actually know their shit. You could tell me Triton's good and I will laugh in your face because Triton is also made by the same guys that made Mad Cat's controllers and Mad Cat's controllers absolutely suck. I just always sadly forgot about Steel Series because every single time I looked at them, they always said USB headset, PC USB headset, and I play on consoles, so I, there's no way I can use a PC gaming headset on an Xbox. But after I got these, which are the cloud cores, I thought about it for a little bit. I thought, you know what? Gaming has come a long way within the last, what? 10 years or so? And gaming headsets probably have evolved since then, so I looked on SteelSeries website and boom. I was gonna do an unboxing, but you don't give me a brand new shiny game-related thing and expect me to not open it right away. When I got this, I opened it right away. When I got this headset, I opened it faster than a prom date's legs. Okay, that was probably a little too graphic. I apologize, guys. Oh, crap. Like, just kind of a... TLDR type of review, this is probably the most comfortable headset you will ever have in your life. This is the most comfortable headset you will ever own if you decide to buy one. Not even a joke, this thing is comfy as shit. Okay, probably shouldn't use profane language or anything like that, but... This headset is comfy as crap. There we go. Even though I've dropped the F-bomb quite a few times in this video, probably, but... Uh, who cares, right? After using the Steel Series, I don't think I can go to any other headset at all. Just the sheer comfort of it all is just beautiful. I have to worry about this outside of Infinite Warfare 2? The reason I stopped playing Infinite Warfare is because of the fact that for some reason sliding while shooting gives you the greatest accuracy in the world, while just aiming like this gives you complete dick. Everything about this headset just works Perfectly. Okay, well, except for one thing. I bought this thing off their website, which, since it's a Xbox One headset, it comes with its own SteelSeries branded adapter, and this thing can... It's, it's broken. I decided to try it out... Where did it actually go, anyway? I decided to try it out over the Microsoft branded adapter, and it, it, I got no audio out of it whatsoever. I got like game audio, but when it comes to trying to talk with people, I got nothing. So if you ever decide to buy the X300s, I'm, I'm not even going to call them that anymore. If you ever decide to get the V3s for Xbox, just, just get the V3. Don't get the X300 version, just get the V3. Buy the headset only, don't buy it with the adapter, and just buy the Microsoft adapter. Or if you have a controller that has the 3.5 port in it, just buy the headset only, that's a hit. Okay, now, how does it sound if I just take this out of the mix amp and just plug it into the controller? Okay. And, okay, I can just leave the mic in here and it works perfectly. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This thing does have a mic and, yes, if you guys don't know, it goes back in like this. Compared to the Astros right here, you just have to... It has a mic that you can either take out or keep on like this and it's good. It just dangles it 
kind of makes me think it's a scouter in a way from Dragon Ball. Very poor scouter, mind you, but scouter nonetheless. And it's also completely different from the Cloud Cores, which has this little thing you just take off. I said take off. Holy sh- holy shit, I lost it. And it has this little hole in here that you can plug the mic into, and I don't like that either. Because let's say I'm not using the mic at all, and someone invites me to a party, I can just pull this out. Whereas with the Cloud Cores, I have to fiddle around and try to find the, find the damn thing just to actually plug it in. It's been a while since I just used the headset as a stereo headset, so it sounds really weird right now at first, just trying to use it. But so far, I'm actually kind of liking it. Like, it's actually doing a lot better for me than just having this plugged in the mix amp. I'm actually kind of surprised at that. It's probably gonna take some getting used to, a lot of getting used to, mind you, but I think I actually like this a little bit more than just having the mix amp. Now granted, it could be just some sort of mild bias because even before I had a Steel Series, I fell in love with them. But, but, I don't know, I like the sound of a mix amp better. I was plugging my headset back into the thing and you just decided to read me from behind with a steel blade? Have some respect! Like, seriously, if these kids fucking win this, I'm, I'm done with Black Ops 3. They fucking win. Done. Done. But would I recommend this headset? Yeah! I'd recommend it more than I'd recommend, let's say, the the Astros. I'd recommend it more than Turtle Beach. Like, this is now my go-to headset for everything. I'll leave a link in the description just so you guys can buy your own. Right now, for these, I know they're having an Overwatch anniversary sale, so I got these for $49.99. I don't know how long the sale is going to last, but if you want to get yours right now for really cheap, go ahead, do it right now. I'm not saying this is the end-all be-all headset or anything, so if you already have a headset that you're perfectly comfortable with, that you're perfectly fine with, just go ahead and stick with that. But if you're thinking that might be time to switch headsets, or if you think that yours is kind of starting to wear out or anything, then... Go ahead, get this one. This is a really cheap headset as of right now. And no, this is not sponsored at all. I'm not partnered with them at all. I just really like the headset. And ooh, I got my, I got, I got Sentry. You know what that means. Right there. I enjoy this headset more than probably any other gaming headset. And I don't think I'm ever going to switch ever again after this. What just happened there? Oh my sweet Jesus, what happened? I mean, I might switch headsets again if, let's say, there's a headset that has the same suspension thing as the Siberia, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, scuff update. I'm not gonna go for a scuff sponsorship at all. Nope. I know there's people that think that I should, but... After some talks with one of my friends, I decided not to. His whole thought is that most of the gaming companies that do sponsorships, they really don't pay attention to most of us that are that are kind of low as in regards to me. Like, I'm only at, what is it, 119 right now? And there's nothing I can do at all when it comes to a sponsorship. And is it sad that this is my best map? Whereas, I hate this map. Like, I absolutely cannot stand this map at all. But look at this, 30 and 3. I hate this map. So much. But I'm so good at it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. You know, all that good, awesome, fun stuff. And I will see you guys later.